Hello and welcome to Everyday Linux User. In today's video I'm going to show you how to install Debian 12 using a live USB and I will be showing you how to install a lightweight version of Debian for using on older hardware and computers with low specifications such as cheap mini computers. In order to follow along you will need a blank USB drive or indeed any USB drive but beware all data will be deleted from this drive so make sure you've backed up anything on it and you will need a computer to install Debian onto and about 20 to 30 minutes of your time. Now this video uh, follows my usual four step method uh, which is to one download the ISO, two download a tool to create a bootable Linux USB drive, three create the bootable Linux USB drive and finally install Debian onto the computer. So let's start by going to the Debian website at debian.org and you will see this large download button do not click it. Instead, click on the link just below it that says Other Downloads. The reason for this is we want to use the live installer as opposed to the network installer. I find these images make it far easier to install Debian for the average computer user. And you get a few extra software packages as well after you've installed. Now the Debian website has always been fairly messy, but if you look on the right side of the screen, you'll see links for Live GNOME, Live XFCE, Live KDE, and other live distros. And for this guide, we will be installing the LXQT version of Debian because it is incredibly lightweight and will work on nearly any computer. So click the other live ISO link and scroll down. Now you'll see lots of options available, including links for Cinnamon, GNOME, KDE, LX. DE, LXQT, MATE, Standard and XFCE. So as mentioned previously we will be installing the LXQT version for this demonstration but the setup is the same for all versions. Click on the Debian Live ISO link for the version you wish to install and you can see here I have chosen the LXQT version. Now whilst that is downloading we can move on to the next step which is downloading the tool which will enable us to create a bootable Debian Linux USB drive. The software we will be using today is called Belina Etcher and you can get it by visiting etcher.belina.io. Now people often ask me why I recommend Etcher and not Ventoy. Uh, I will link a guide here which will show you how to create a USB using Ventoy but my personal preference for one time installs is Etcher. The reason I like Belina Etcher is it has a nice clean interface and it's just three button clicks for creating a USB drive. So uh, click on the download Etcher button and you can see there are versions for Windows, Linux and Mac. Uh, I'm going to show you how to do it using Windows. Uh, I will be creating a dedicated guide showing how to use Etcher for Linux shortly. So click on the download link for Windows and then wait until both the Etcher and Debian downloads are finished. Okay, so we're now on the penultimate step in this process which is to create the bootable Debian USB drive. You can close your web browser at this point and instead open up a Windows Explorer and navigate to your downloads folder. Insert your USB drive at this point and double click on the Belina Etcher file that you downloaded previously. When the Etcher screen appears click on the flash from file button and choose the Debian download from the downloads folder. Now click on the select drive option and choose the USB drive that you inserted previously and finally click flash. A message will appear asking for you to give permissions. Uh, you need to click yes to approve this. So Etcher will now start writing Debian to the USB drive and you can see an estimated write time. It's a two stage process. The first stage flashes the image to the drive and the second stage verifies the integrity of the image. It can take between 10 and 20 minutes. When it has completed you can remove the USB drive and insert it into the computer you want to install Debian onto. If it is the same machine as the one you are using, you can leave the USB drive plugged in. Now in this video I'll be showing you how to install Debian as the only operating system, so if you intend to do this, make sure you've backed up your current files and operating system first to an external drive or somewhere else as it will be wiped. Now what you need to do now is reboot your computer and as it is booting press the relevant function key to bring up the boot menu. This differs from manufacturer to manufacturer. You can use Google to find out the relevant boot key for your manufacturer and your computer and it's usually one of the function keys or the escape key. As you can see I have pressed F7 to bring up my boot menu. Now select the USB drive you wish to boot from and choose the first option to boot into the live version of Debian. We are now at the final stage which is to install Debian. 
At this point, if you are finding this guide useful, then it's worth noting I have lots of other Debian related content and indeed content for many other distributions. So if you decide Debian isn't for you, then there is definitely going to be an install guide for one distribution that is. And I will link to those videos at the end and you might want to also hit the subscribe button. I also want to thank all the people in the past few months that have left supers on my videos. For those of you who do not know, you can leave a super comment, which is like a tip for YouTube creators. It certainly isn't expected, but thank you to all those that have. It helps to keep the caffeine flowing. Anyway, back to the guide. Uh, double click on the install icon on the desktop. And when this message appears, click on the execute button. Choose your welcome language. As you can see here, I'm in the UK, so I'm choosing British English. Click the next button and you will see there is a map. And on the screen, you simply choose where you are located. For instance, in my case, I click on the UK. This will set the time on your clock to the correct time zone. Click the next button and you will now have to choose your keyboard layout. As you can see, I have chosen the UK layout. Again, click next. And depending on what you currently have on your computer, you will be given the option to either install alongside your current operating system, install to a separate partition, you will be able to erase a disk, or you'll be able to do something else. I have another guide about partitioning, which I will link here. But for this guide, we are installing Debian as the only operating system. And so I'm going to choose the erase disk option. This will wipe the entire drive. So as I've said previously, make sure you have backed everything up before proceeding any further. Debian does provide a small warning, but as I said, it's very small. This is the point of no return. Click next. Now you need to create a user. So enter your name and a username and give your computer a name. Uh, this is the name it will use to appear on your local network. Now enter a password for that user and repeat it. Click next and you will be at the summary screen. If you are really sure you want to continue, click install and Debian will now start to install to your computer. This can take between 15 to 20 minutes depending on your hardware. When the process is completed, Debian will be installed and you can simply click the done button and your computer will reboot. At the point it starts to boot up, remove the USB drive and a grub menu will appear. Choose the first option and then a login screen will appear and all you have to do is enter the username and password you created previously. You will now be logged into Debian and that is the end of the guide. This month will be focused on Debian and so there will be lots of setup guides available and I will link to a few of them at the end of this video which is coming up right now. Thank you for watching.